welcome to the Scuba Made YouTube channel. Okay, welcome back to the channel, guys. Now, uh, as you can see here, I've got my new nice uh, metal uh, FTP PCV kit. And um, I've, I'll just explain what else I've got here. This is the one out of the car. And uh, this is just a cheap, generic, like Chinese one that is a, meant to be an OEM replacement. Now, yeah, I just got this out of the car. I'll quickly just show you how I did that. All right, I'm just gonna start by taking this thing off. This is a bit tricky. And try and pop it off there. There we go. Just get that out of the way. Then I've got a half, half inch. I'm going to use the open end just because it seems to be pretty easy and just wind this. It's not very tight, so not that much room to turn it though, so just little winds. And there we go. It felt kind of tight. I think that um, this o-ring was like grabbing a little bit, so it felt a little bit tight by it coming out, but it came out pretty easy. You just got to keep turning it. Yeah, that's come out a bit. And then the PCV valve should just pop out of here. Now this is a little bit tight, so you're gonna have to like wiggle it a bit and just get pull on it as best you can. There we go. All right, and now it comes. A little bit of oil on it. It's okay. And that's how you get that out. Pretty simple. Now. I'm going to be installing this one back into the car. Oh, oh, not back into the car. I'm going to be installing this into the car for the first time. And uh, it should be a good little upgrade. But what I'm actually going to be doing is uh, using my air compressor. I've rigged up this little thing. It's a tire tire pump thing. Um, I've only got... Like, I've, I've only got... Yeah, about 30 PSI in there and I'm going to be pushing it through here. I've blown on these a few times and uh, you can blow through this, you can blow through this way on all of them pretty easily, even this one. This is the factory one. And then this end, it's a bit oily. Oh, something came out of that. Anyway, and then the Chinese one yeah and um, you can't I've already tested it but you can't blow back at all through this this one the standard one's pretty good and this one's not very good so we might start with this so what I'm gonna do is just pop this on put a little bit of uh, spray on there so it goes on a bit easier then pop this over here now what what happens here is no no air should go back through. So that doesn't work. But that's it closer to that's quite, that's like 34 psi, so that's a fair bit, but yeah. So that one doesn't work real good. That's the generic it's a generic like cheap one. This was only about $15, maybe $20 or something. It's pretty cheap. Anyway, this was the one that's on the car. Now my car's only got 88,000 Ks on it. So it's pretty new. That's, what do we work out? 53,000 miles or something like that. Um, it was built in 2006 though, so it's 14 years old. It's built in November 06, so it's almost 14 years old. Now, um, this one still seems like it's in really good condition, which is awesome. But um, I'll be pushing my car a bit harder. So if this if this if i wasn't pushing my car up up in the boost or anything i would have just left this because it's it's fine but anyway let's test it anyway so again that's like <laughs> closer to 35 psi but it's leaking so anyway i can Oh yeah, there, there's in the 20s, so let's get on. Might be a little bit tough to get that on there, so anyway, better spray that a lot. Spray that even. Oh, spray that. Yeah. 
hope this goes on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, crap. Get that on there like that. I'll just go and turn the compressor on quickly to get the pressure up a bit. Okay, here's the big test. This is the good one. No leak. Oh, where's that leaking? Hang on. I'll just put a little zip tie on that. Anyway, what I'm going to do is cut that off. Oh, I just realized you can unscrew that. How about that? Oh, and there's the little spring in there inside. It seemed to be uh, leaking out from around there, it looked like. So I'm just gonna put a bit, yeah, a bit of thread sealer on that and pop that in there. Okay, so I've put a bit of thread sealant in there. Hopefully that helps. Cause it did, when I first put it on there, it seemed like it was good and then it popped out and I think it popped out from in there. So we might just, Yeah, I've lowered the pressure a little bit. Let's get this back on there. Okay, now let's just keep an eye on that. Oh yeah, we can see it's trying to leak from in there. That's weird. That's at 30, about a bit under 30 pounds. That's weird, hang on. What can I do about that? I've gone and put a bunch of thread tape on it. So we'll see if that works. It's, yeah, I tried not to cover it on the end because I don't want it in there. This feels pretty tight. I just cut the excess off, so scratched a little bit now but that should be all right okay hopefully this is the last time the last time i have to do this yeah is it gonna leak oh well that's a good start <laughs> um, it popped the hose off it didn't blow the threads out Maybe I'll put a zip tie on there. What are we looking at here? Let's do that. There we go. We're holding nearly 40 PSI here. And you can see it's bubbling hard on there. So, and if I push down on this, well, I can't, but um, yeah, if I take my screwdriver, Yep, so that works. Finally, fixed. Okay, so needed thread tape in there. Yep, that's... That's easily holding more than 20 PSI now. Easily. Yeah, no, yeah there we go. I push down on that. Ooh. Yep, there we go. Fixed. All right, let's go and put this one in the car. Yeah, this should be just as simple as it was to to get it out um i might just uh lubricate this o-ring a little bit just uh just so it doesn't bind up on anything when it goes in there and then pop her in yeah it seems like it fits snug about there easy then put this one in. Yeah, just lubricate that o-ring a little bit. And tuck it in under here. Up in here. Hopefully it fits. Come on, fit. The other one fit. Oh, no. Come on, get in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was tight. I thought for a second I might have to take this off. But, no. Nope. Anyway. Got the half inch back on it. I guess a 13 mil would work as well. 
Okay, probably not too tight because this is plastic and that's metal and yeah. Anyway, just like that, it's in. Plug this back in, just push that on. Oh, that's from the oil catch can that I installed the other day, or the other week, I suppose now. It's still going good. I checked the can before and it's empty. So anyway, I've only driven like 100 Ks probably. So that's all right. The cowling's all back together and uh, the engine cover's back on. So that job's all complete now. It's a good little upgrade. I'm quite glad that I found that thread was sort of leaking. I don't know, it, it held up first as you can see in the video, but then it soon popped out and, and I was a bit confused as to where that was coming from, but hopefully that's fixed now. But that was uh, up above 30 PSI of pressure. We'll finish off there. Just, um, make sure you can see me. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. And um, I don't know, I guess this is the first time I've really done a test of something like that so it was a little bit new to me normally i just stick it on the car and call her good and that's it but um i was gonna say too I don't, I don't know if you had me mention before i checked my oil catch can and there was nothing in it so uh this engine seems to be working pretty good i haven't driven very far to be fair but i did drive it reasonably hard <laughs> um anyway that's uh, going well for now so um stay tuned for the next video i'll be getting the um uh, what is it called? MSD thing. Is it? That's what it is. MHD. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> the MHD um, and that, so I can, uh, yeah, see how see how that all goes. And uh, yeah, a few more LED lights. I'm still waiting on coilovers, unfortunately. Um, I guess I just got to keep waiting. Uh, but anyway, soon we'll get this thing back to looking how my old 325i looked. Stay tuned for more videos and uh, like and subscribe, share if you want, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.